Hello and welcome back to the Art Collectors Guild video blog. We're in New York City at the Metropolitan Museum of Art which is located on 5th Avenue and 82nd Street. The Met is a repository of the great art of the world's cultures throughout the millennia. And this time we'll be visiting the newly reopened Greek and Roman galleries. They're located where the Met's dining room used to be, but now it's been transformed into this breathtaking, skylighted Greco-Roman courtyard. There are marble and bronze sculptures glorifying the human form, whether portrayed as humans or as deities. Let's look at one of these exquisite marble sculptures now. Here's Dionysus, the Greek god of wine, intoxication, pleasure. The Romans actually used to call him Bacchus, and this is a Roman statue. It was created 2,000 years ago and was based upon an earlier Greek work from the 4th century BCE. There was some restoration to the arms and legs in the 18th century by the Italian sculptor Pacetti. Dionysus is rep represented as a young god, and we recognize him because he has a wreath of grape leaves in his hair, and he wears a mantle made out of panther skins over his chiton. A chiton is the short Greek robe that he's wearing. When you look at him from behind, you can even see the claws of the panther hanging down. The high sandals he's wearing are topped with animal heads on their flaps. He's standing beside a small young maiden, and she's standing atop a rock to give her more height. She's meant to personify hope. But she really was a necessary device for the sculpture. She was put there to support the enormous weight of that outstretched arm that's heavy marble. And this Dionysus the god of intoxication and of wine, well, he probably would have been holding a cup of wine in that raised hand. Look at how the sculptor defines the various layers and lines of their clothing. You can see their forms and the weight of their bodies beneath the draperies. But when you look at the various layers of fabric moving between the vertical pleats and the strong counterpoint diagonal of the mantle he's wearing, it takes our eyes to the horizontal cloth which drapes over the maiden's hair. There's a real genius for this artist. We're not looking at ephemeral fabrics. We're looking at solid marble. It's one of nature's strongest, heaviest stones. This beautiful Roman sculpture of Dionysus is only one of many exquisite works in the Metropolitan Museum's Greek and Roman collections. And when we look at these collections at night, with the illuminations they take on, it's an almost magical feeling that can transport us back over 2,000 years. We'll have to come back and see other works in the future visits that we have. So I invite you to join us again for the next Art Collectors Guild video blog at www.artcollectorsguild.com. And remember, art is forever. Thank you.